Help Stop the Pain, requesting a creative solution for Leanna. Meet Leanna. Leanna is my daughter, 14-year-old young lady who happens to have cerebral palsy. Her CP, or cerebral palsy, is just brain damage. It was caused by the doctor when she wasn't delivered fast enough at her birth. Only one spot in her brain is damaged, but that one spot controls all motor function in her body. She is very smart, understands everything that's going on around her, but she's stuck in a body that doesn't cooperate. My name is Utana Leap, and I am Leanna Bryant's mom. This goofy photo was taken after her most recent trip to the operating room for anesthesia. Uh, she requires anesthesia for all dental work. We nap afterwards. I am a single divorced mom. I provide all of Leanna's care 24-7, except for when she's at school. Thank God for school. But with all of her biting issues, besides taking her to school every day and picking her up, I usually have to stop by and deliver medications as well. We have learned to adapt and overcome many challenges in her life. Leanna is not able to speak, but the one thing that she does have is perfect eye control. So she uses a computer called a Toby that is controlled completely by her eyes. She's able to talk to friends, to strangers, uh, when allowed, <laughs> talks to friends, she sends emails, uh, bosses me around, and posts all kinds of stuff on Facebook. For the most part, she is a typical 14-year-old teenager with the attitude as well. She has many challenges, but we've always found a way to do about anything she wants. But our problem, and a very painful problem that she has, is she bites her lower lip. Now please let me explain. This is a completely involuntary movement. We have tried everything in the world to block this. Uh, drugs, positioning in her wheelchair, multiple therapies, we've been to all of her specialists and more, nothing has worked. The only thing that she can do is to tilt her head forward, put her chin to her chest, and that can stop her from biting. But if you can imagine living your life with your chin to your chest, that's not a life. And she's not able to use her Toby either. Here is a quick video of how she does bite. <coughs> this is the position she has to be in to keep from biting her lip. She leans her head forward like that. The only thing she can see is her lap. We uh, put iPads in her lap and do everything we can to help make her comfortable, but any movement that she does, whether she tries to move her arms, legs, anything that causes her to bite. Then we found a solution. After multiple trips to our dentist at Children's Hospital in Cincinnati, uh, we met a special prosthodontist who made this very small little piece of plastic or acrylic that fit around the front of her teeth. It pushed her lip outward and she could no longer bite her lip. And it was absolutely a miracle. I had my kid back. To hold this thing in place, they glued small composite bumps on her teeth, for the lack of a fancy word. But this guard on occasion like if she sneezed would come loose and when that happened she would bite down and break off these buttons so about every two to three months we were back in the or in the operating room having these things glued back on so after this happened a couple times, after a little bit of research I found this thing it is an orthodontic lip bumper um, I've found that this had been used in other K-12 
kiddos that had similar lip biting problems. I thought that by cementing metal orthodontic bands to her teeth that she would not be able to break them off. Uh, sadly, I was wrong. I underestimated my child again. Uh, in less than five days, she was able to get her lip underneath the plastic part and pop both of the bands off. We actually went back in under anesthesia and did it again, cementing them on better, pushing them further down. Uh, this is a picture of the actual guard in her mouth with the bands. They were wired in place and with elastics. Uh, unfortunately, the wire would flex a little bit and Houdini, which is what I call Leanna now, was able to push that thing up uh, and it became so loose that it was dangerous and had to be removed again. Some factors to consider just for those that want to think about this challenge. Um, I've contacted anyone and everyone I can think of. Um, I've tried all of the regular mouth guards like for football. Uh, I've bought everything that the drug stores have. I've tried them on myself. They're too large and they won't stay in one position. And the way her body works, which she cannot control, she will push these things out of her mouth. Or if it gets sideways, it causes her to gag. She is not able to get her hands to her mouth. So anytime anything like that would slip, it is dangerous. Um, we need to do another design similar to the acrylic c-shaped thing that worked except that we need to find a way to glue these dots on so that they will not come off or find another way of attaching it but each time we do this it requires anesthesia and she has been put under so many times that the doctors are getting to quite afraid to put her under anymore so that is a big consideration at this time. Just as a side note, in July of 2014, Leanna had spinal fusion surgery, which you can see from these photos, she went from an 89 degree curve in her back to almost straight. Uh, this was major surgery, 10 hours, five days inpatient, and what is amazing is Leanna has told me she would rather go through that again than the daily pain she has from biting her lip. And you can see from the size of that incision, that was a major surgery. So to me, that tells me how much pain my child is in. Leanna, when she types on her Toby, that is her voice, uh, she, this was the message she told her dentist at our last time we were at the operating room. I think you understand what she means. To me, there has to be a solution. Uh, the only remedy that I hear from many dentists, not just ours, but all over the world, actually, because I have friends in other countries, is to remove her teeth and to remove all of her teeth. And to me, that is almost medieval. With the technology that we have out there, the 3D printing, the prosthetics that are being made for individuals, I just cannot believe that there is not a way that we can make something to keep her from biting her lip. To me, if we can glue stuff on the space shuttle that doesn't come off during re-entry, then by golly, we can glue something in her mouth <laughs> that she cannot get out. Uh, I'd also like everyone to know that my kid is not the only child that has this condition or movement and has this kind of pain. I know of several other families that have kiddos that do this and they don't want to pull their kids teeth either. If you can help us, if you have some crazy think outside the box idea, please contact me. Leanna has never been normal. I never expected her to be normal because I'm far from it myself. 
but I never thought we would have an issue like this that has gone on for so long. If you know of anyone that has an idea or that would like to meet Leanna or see what we've done or email me, anything, seriously, anything, any ideas are welcomed. I will not stop my search until I get her fixed, as I call it, because I miss my girl. She used to be so happy, so fun, and right now she's just in pain. And I have to fix that. I'm her mom, and that's my job. Please feel free to call me at my home number, email me, find me on Facebook. I'm not hard to find. Google me. I uh, thank you for your time. Please share this video with anyone that you can. I just want to help my girl. Thank you.